up, you guys. So singer slash songwriter slash actress, dancer, choreographer, director, and model Tiana Taylor shocked fans recently when she announced that she would be, quote, retiring, quote unquote, retiring. So in this video, we're going to be getting into the real reason Tiana Taylor is retiring from the music industry after almost 15 years. Now, the fact that Tiana has even been in the music industry for so long might be surprising to some, but Tiana Taylor was first signed to a record deal in 2007 when she was just 16 years old. In 2007, Tiana signed to producer Pharrell Williams' Star Trek Entertainment, which was also an imprint of Interscope Records. Tiana was signed to Star Trek for six years, and during that time, she released her debut mixtape from a planet called Harlem, which was released as a free download to create buzz for her debut album. However, Tiana was never able to release her debut album under the Star Trek label, and she was reportedly released from that contract in 2012 per her request. She later explained in an interview that she felt like being signed to a contract kept her from doing what she wanted to do because everything she did had to be approved by the label. She said in a 2012 interview with DJ Ski, quote, when I was signed for those six years, I felt like I couldn't do nothing. I could not prove to my fans that I had the talent. I could not give them what I wanted to give them. But at the same time, she also added that being signed to Pharrell was a blessing and that she considers him a big brother to her in the industry. So Tiana announcing that she wants to be released from her current contract with Def Jam is not the first time that she has said that being signed to a label has hindered her independence as an artist. And we're going to get into Tiana Taylor explaining just that in her own words. After leaving Star Trek slash Interscope, Tiana ended up signing with Good Music with Kanye West and Def Jam. And under this label, Tiana released her debut album, Seven, in 2014, her sophomore album, Keep That Same Energy, in 2018, and her most recently released album, titled The Album, in June of this year. However, Tiana has said that she's now retiring from this chapter of her life because she's been feeling super underappreciated as an artist and has been receiving little to no real push from the quote unquote machine and she's constantly getting the shorter end of the stick. And so of course, Tiana fans were disappointed to hear that she would be retiring from music, especially because she wasn't getting the support that she needed from her label. So Tiana went live to explain in her own words, the real reason she is retiring from the music industry. I think that's what I've been trying to do. What you think happens after you get a release from a label? You get what I'm saying? Like, y'all, it's still going over a lot of y'all heads. Like, so, you know, until I can get some type of freedom, I just, I can't do this. Like, I can't do this. I can't, like, honestly. And then it's like, what is, what is the point? What is the point if you're going to keep getting the shorter ends of the stick from the, from the people that you're signed to? Like, I'm about to keep giving... Them hoes 110% and they only giving me 10 back? Like, what? And the reason, and they, they the reason why y'all ain't got no motherfucking video for booming. I gotta fight tooth and nail to get a fucking video budget approved. And it's just like, my nigga, y'all don't spend none in marketing. Y'all don't spend none of the marketing budget. Y'all don't um, spend it on uh, styling budgets and choreography budgets. Y'all don't spend it on nothing. The most y'all probably do is give some money for um for some videos and then y'all want everything short of a blood sample so it's like just just stop you know what i'm saying and before i i get myself worked up and upset i'd rather just bow out gracefully and walk away and the crazy part about it is there is no hard feelings dev jam could drop me today baby and i'll still be cool with them but dev jam know what's up because y'all know i'll be walking up in that motherfucking office telling y'all to drop me and it's an excuse every single time of why you can't Like what? I've been signed since I was 15 years old. Like, nah, that shit is that shit is a dub. That shit is a dub. People need to get up on here and start taking accountability. Period. I'm not I don't get in the studio with the top, top producers. I don't get the the top, top shit. Like, I don't get the shit that 
a label was supposed to give an artist. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I get the beats that's like, nigga, here's a CD and it got mad beats on it. You know what I'm saying? Like, not literally, but it's just like, that's just sometimes like how I'm treated. You know what I'm saying? And it's, I just think it's unfair. So it's like, if I'm going to do everything myself anyway, then let me get 100% of all my shit. But I'm not about to be putting in all the work and then y'all take credit when shit pop off. When shit pop off, then it's just like, yeah, our our very own Tiana Taylor. Da, 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 da. No. No. And, and real shit is just like, honestly, I feel like everything that comes with this music shit is really a toxic relationship. Yeah, it's really a toxic relationship that you have to let go, you know? So, yes, it's always been for the love and for the passion. But, baby, that love is just not worth my sanity. Like, it's not worth. It's just not worth it. You know, I just had a whole baby two months ago. You know, it's just like, well, three months ago. And it's just like, you know, we got Junie. Y'all know Junie crazy, you know. My husband, my mom. Like, you know, it's just like I got too much to live for, y'all. And I can't, like, I can't let this kill me. I can't. But I, I hope I gave y'all some clarity because y'all know it ain't about to be too much more of this because this ain't even, like, my style. And I really, really love that I'm just known for minding my business and staying to myself, and I would like to keep it that way. <laughs> but I do feel like, it, it needed to be some clarity because I really, really felt like my words were being uh, misread. So I was really saying in a post that I was really shocked at my, at my streams because they were extremely high and that I was appreciative. And, you know, it felt good to know that I was closing this chapter. It felt good to know that I, I actually am appreciated because I did not know that honestly I did not know that before um I see no Spotify record so y'all gotta understand where I'm coming from too you feel what I'm saying so it's just like come on y'all like don't don't do that to me because everyone who's really really been following me know that I've been a trooper I've been a trooper for a very long time i've been loyal and all that was reciprocated to me was excuses and people not knowing what to do and it's just it's too much um but yeah i'm just i'm in a place i'm in a place of peace but i don't want y'all to be mad at me you know um i would never leave y'all high and dry y'all know i do a little bit of everything but you know and i'm extremely grateful for my streams i, I really am but at the same time you know like i said 90 percent of that was to the machine for sure but that other 10 you know, I, I, I do feel very underrated and I do feel very underappreciated by many, you know, not everybody. But, yeah, you know, I mean, like I said, it's not about the awards, but everybody wants to be rewarded for their hard work or at least acknowledged, you know, and I mean acknowledged by even your own label. It's like we supposed to be business partners, like we're in this together, like at what point? Is this not a, a partnership? At what point do you feel like you don't want to support? Because it's like you're not doing what you have to do, but you don't want to let me go neither. That's toxic as fuck. Let me go. Just let me go. This is really no gun to anybody's head. And I think that's what's pissing me off even more. That they're they're locking me into something, but you ain't doing shit. And then because of who I am. When they hear that Tiana curse somebody out, it's easy to believe that because everybody know me for being rah, 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 rah. And it's just like, it's really, it's really not that. But I've had plenty of nights, every night, 
that I cry trying to figure out like, what can I do better? What can I do better? But it's just like, it's the same thing with basketball. Like one man can't win no game. Rome wasn't built in a day and it damn sure wasn't built by one person. So maybe we got to we got to be a team or let me go and be free because I'm damn near doing everything myself anyway. So I'm doing everything myself. Why am I like why am I why are we still here? Why are we still doing this? Why are we still doing this? Let me go. I do everything anyway. Let me go. But I just had to get that off my chest. Um but yeah, I'm I, I'm I'm done with the being crucified for other motherfuckers that don't even got your back. You know what I'm saying? Like I go too hard. I go too hard. And honestly, I appreciate y'all and these numbers make me very, very proud because this album, the album did that just this year alone and I, I appreciate that and the album is the one y'all see when that whole thing happened with KTSC and everybody said that I was complaining what did I do I took accountability and said you know what I'm not here to play the blame game I'm here to make it right so now I need to be a hundred and fifty percent into my shit I can't trust nobody to do nothing I can't da -da -da. I can't put nothing in nobody lap none of that and I stayed in Day in and day out, the whole, what, uh, eight months, seven months, seven to six months, my whole, my whole pregnancy, damn near. I locked in. I got in that studio. And I did what I had to do. Period. So, I love you guys. And you may not see me musically, but... Y'all know our bitch is still here directing and all that other shit. But, um, I love you guys. But Auntie tired. Auntie is tired. Auntie tired. Auntie just want to feel appreciated by everybody. Everybody. But I love you. And I'm going to go and I'm going to eat. And I already know um, little snippets here and there is going to be picked up. So please make sure y'all don't misconstrue my words this time. Please. But yeah, I, I gave him my all. Sometimes you got to just, you got to keep loving and keep loving and keep loving and keep loving. Until you can't love no more. And honestly, until I'm 100% free, I'm done with this shit. I'm done with this shit and I'm done with everything it come with. I won't let this kill me. And I ain't selling my soul. So, on that note, peace out. All right, so if you listen as closely as I did, it seems like Tiana wants to get out of her music contract, but she might not be completely done with music as a whole. So hopefully her record label will release her so that she can be an independent artist instead of continuing to hold on to her and leech off of anything that she creates. I think that's what I've been trying to do. What you think happens after you get a release from a label? You get what I'm saying? Like, it's still going over a lot of y'all heads, like... Leave a comment and let me know what you think about Tiana Taylor saying that her label has not been pushing her and giving her the support that she is due. As always, thanks for watching.